Hey guys, Madoss Gamers so here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a bit of a iOS 4.1 overview. So, iOS 4.1 comes pre installed in uh, the new iPod Touch 4th generation, as you can see there, the two cameras. But uh, if you have uh, the uh, previous iPods or the iPhone 4, you would have to install it and download it off iTunes. Now, this um, is pretty a major update for the iPod lineup, but the main things it comes with is um, multitasking and folders. Now, folders is a great way to organize your apps. So, basically, as you can see, they have a folder pre installed, and in that folder, I have uh, my clock, my calculator, and my voice memos. So, basically, that allows you to have more um, apps and, um, yeah, so organize your apps better and stuff like that. The next thing is multitasking. So, basically, to access multitasking, you just double tap the home button. Oops. And this little bar comes up, and it shows you all the apps you've been previously using. So to get straight back into an app, you just simply click on it, uh, click on it and it'll take you straight back into it. And if you want to go into Game Center, just click on it, it'll take you straight into it. Uh, so settings. It's such an easier way of getting around apps. And simply to uh, close apps off, you just hold down on them and you just click that little line up there, and then you just close all the apps. All right, and if you slide to the left, you also got a um, portrait lock. And um, you can play some music just by here. Alright. So another new feature in um, the 4.1 update is Game Center. Now this is equivalent to um, your Xbox Live. So basically what it lets you do uh, is um, basically uh, you add friends. As you can see they have two friends. Um, and that you play games. But this time there's uh, achievements for games. If you go into games here. And then as you can see there. There are... Um, my games that are compatible with Game Center, so just click on one, and there it shows you your leaderboards, achievements recently played. So I go to achievements, and then it shows all the achievements there are, and um, the ones you have got, and the ones you haven't, and how to get them. So uh, that's Game Center. It's real fun. You can add friends. It's easy to play with friends. Um, you can put statuses and stuff like that, and um, yeah, you can get requests, send requests. It's really cool. So check it out. Alright, so they're basically the main um, new features in the update, but some of the minor features in it is um, basically um, faces, uh, places, sorry, in photos. So if I just go to my photos, and here's a photo, uh, a video I took um, just before, and down there, as you can see, it says places. So if you click on places, it'll show you where you took that video. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, now you can also change your uh, wallpaper. So as you can see there, I have a different wallpaper. Um, so you can put any picture as your background, but on the iPod Touch 2G, obviously you can't. It also gives you the ability to rent TV shows over uh, the iTunes store on your iPod. Um, iBooks is another feature on your iPod, which is pretty cool for those people like reading books and stuff like that. You can also add PDFs to that. Um, you got even better mail with the um, Microsoft uh, X... Oh, sorry. Microsoft Exchange over there, so you can have multiple email accounts. It's got threaded email, I believe. I'm not too sure. Um, Bluetooth keyboard support. Um, the uh, display search and uh, search search suggestions on Safari have been improved. And um, yes, yeah, so that's basically just a quick overview of the new 4.1 update, which comes pre-installed on the iPod Touch fourth generation. Um, for other devices, you would have to download off iTunes, but remember it's not compatible with other devices. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment and please subscribe for more videos in the new Apple Touch. Peace.